Okay, so we've all experienced deja vu. Don't lie, yes you have. It's that feeling where you've already maybe lived that moment before and it's like a flashback to that moment. Those moments in time where it feels like you've already experienced that specific moment. Yeah, it's a common occurrence and are you even human if you haven't experienced it? I was with a friend yesterday and we were just kind of having a discussion about stuff and deja vu came up. All of the current atoms in your body have been in other humans, plants, organisms. All atoms are recycled. They've always kind of been here, but they take different kinds of shapes and, and forms during different times. And currently the ones in my body are making me come alive. A living universe full of cells that are each made of atoms themselves. Because these atoms are recycled, the atoms in our brain have 100% been in other human brains and other different kinds of animals. So what if deja vu is a result of that? What if deja vu is caused by one of these atoms? At certain times in our life we experience the same moment. It could be from someone else's life experiencing the same kind of thing. My friend Evan and I continued this conversation, and a point that struck me he kind of came up with was maybe it's the location you're at on Earth. Maybe the location of that atom being in the same spot is making that deja vu moment occur. These are probably way wrong, but it's fun to think about things and try and make up answers. We're only here for a select time, and we have a brain that can comprehend topics like this. We can try and come up with complicated answers to complicated questions. We'll never know the true answer. Maybe we will, but it will take a long time. We haven't existed for very long. Modern day humans, 100,000, couple hundred thousand years, the Earth has only been here for 4 billion years. The universe is estimated to be 15 billion years old, roughly. So we've only existed for a fraction of time. We don't know what has come before us. But what I can tell you is that the atoms that make up Earth and, and our solar system and our bodies in your heart and brain, the atoms and all the things I'm listing have always been here. They take different forms and shapes. They tell different stories. and. It's a beautiful thing that us, the universe itself, has come alive to be able to communicate, to try and make something of itself. We are literally the universe coming alive. There are believed to be hundreds of billions, if not trillions, of galaxies out there uh, that we don't even know about. Ones that have been here long before us, with hundreds of billions, if not trillions, of stars inside. We are a small percentage of the universe. We take up a minuscule amount. It's not even calculable. Rough estimates suggest that we are among about a trillion species that have risen on this planet. If that is true, there have been more species that have existed on Earth than there are stars in our own galaxy. If you have not watched the show Rick and Morty, I highly suggest it. It's more than just a show. It's not just for entertainment. It makes you think. The point of it is that there is no point that we give meaning to life, that we make the meaning. Before I inevitably die, before my atoms take up other humans and other life forms and inevitably go back into the planet and also into the universe, before all of that happens, I want you to know that I believe in you, I love you, whether you're my family, you're my friend, uh, someone who's across the world. I will leave you on this note. Roughly 100 billion humans have existed, 107 including us, to think about the sheer size of them, that's 107 billion people with unique personalities, with unique stories. Only a small percentage of those, us, are able to experience this new medium of being able to record and access the internet. This type of stuff has only been around for a few decades, you know, a century at most. Someone from 10,000 years ago is never going to be able to experience a car, a cell phone, a motorbike that's driving by running water in a house. We live in a crazy time and no one appreciates it. Or it seems that no one appreciates it. You have always existed. You've been there for every special moment in human history, in the universe's history. We can't remember it and maybe that's what deja vu is. It lets us peek into what once was. It lets us reconnect with the ones before us. The ones that make us up. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.